Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today I have another squad SDK tutorial for you guys. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a invasion gameplay layer for your map. So uh, to speed up the tutorial, I did pre-make uh, most of everything uh, that you'll need to make an invasion gameplay layer. But I'll go over and show you guys what to do. Uh, and so, uh, with that said, let's get to it. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is go into your settings folder of your mod. And then go into maps. And then you want to open your layer table. And so, inside of your layer table, as you guys can see, I already have my invasion layer here. But if you don't, just click on the plus icon here at the bottom. And then with that, you want to change the row name to what you're going to be naming your um invasion level uh, and so obviously mine is test map underscore invasion underscore v1 so the test map is obviously going to be your whatever your map's name is and then after you've done that you just want to set the name here as well so i'm just going to delete this other row since i already have mine and then just save your your layer table and then the next thing that we'll do is quickly go into our main content folder of our mod and then you want to go to maps and then whatever your map is called and then go into your gameplay layer data folder and then in here as you guys can see i already have my data asset for my invasion gameplay layer now to create a data asset you want to go to miscellaneous and then click on data asset and then you want to search for layer and then you click sq layer and then say select now obviously i already created mine so i'm just gonna delete this one but that is how you can create a data asset and then i'm gonna open my invasion uh, data asset and so as you can see the first thing that you'll probably have to set is this level id and this is basically the name of your map and mine is test map so Yours will probably be different. And then under here where it says worlds. This one you want to click the plus icon here. Uh, by default you guys won't have this. And then once you've done that. You want to select or set the gameplay layer level. Uh, for. Um, oh, you, ha you will have to set your invasion gameplay layer. Uh, level here. Now um, you guys will not have this yet. Um, and then if you scroll down you guys will see the team config so you can either copy this if you already watched my AAS tutorial um, or if you want to start from scratch uh, this is where you'll set up your teams and then if you scroll down where it says here game mode here in the drop down you just want to select invasion and then all I did is I just enabled these two settings here just to disable the no respawn timer and no team change timer. Um, obviously, once you package your mod, you want to disable this. You don't want you don't want to keep this enabled. And then down here, which is primary data uh, for the data table, you want to set this to whatever your layer table is called. Um, so basically, name that you have in here. So once you've done that, on the drop down you want to select your invasion um, gameplay layer. And then down here um, you can leave this as is. And then once you've done that, uh, you should be all good to go. And so the next thing that we'll do is go into our maps folder. And then go into your gameplay layers folder. And in here you guys will see I have my gameplay layer level already for my invasion and so you guys won't have this so what you basically want to do is right click and click on this new level thing or you could do what i did is i duplicated my aas level um so if you guys don't have this uh, i would you just go watch you um, to go watch my aas tutorial and then watch this one um so that you can just duplicate it and then you'll change a few things um for invasion um and so once you've done that 
You basically just duplicate it and then rename it to whatever your map's name is, underscore invasion v1, the same as it is in the layer, layer table. And so once you've done that, you can open it. <clears throat> okay, so uh, mine was actually already opened, but uh, I just let it reopen. And so once you've done that, as you can see, I already have my invasion graph here and all of my capture points ready. But before I show you guys how to set up all of this stuff, the, f uh, the next thing that we'll need to do is you want to go into your main content folder of your mod. Then you want to go into your blueprints folder. If you don't have a blueprints folder, create one. And then you inside of the blueprints folder, you want to create another folder called placeable. And then in here, you want to make another folder called capture zones. And in here, you guys will see I have a capture zone invasion. So to get this, uh, you want to go on a second content browser. I have one here on my left. You want to go um, and look for the blueprints folder and then go into placeables. And then you want to go into capture zones. And in here, you guys will see there's a capture zone invasion. Now what you want to do is you want to drag this over and say copy and just rename it so that that, that you know it's um, your modified version of the capture zone invasion. So as you just see I just added the TM in front of the name and then once you've done that you want to open it and then the next thing that you want to do is you want to come over here to the add component section and then search for collision oops collision and then you can either add a box collision, capsule collision, or a sphere collision, but uh, a capsule collision won't be really useful in this case. So you can either choose between a box collision or a sphere collision. It's all up to you. And so once you've done that, you want to click on your sphere collision and then come down here to where it says collision preset. And make sure you set this to capture zone. Mine is already set to it. And then after you've done that, you want to come over here to the construction script. And then in here, you want to drag out your sphere, like so. And then you're going to search for set sphere radius, exactly like this. <coughs> and then once you've done that, you're going to be right-clicking on the sphere radius. And you're going to click on promote to variable. And then just rename it. To sphere radius so you can come over here and double click on the variable and then it will make it so that you can rename it and then after you've done that you want to select the variable here on the left and make sure instance edible is selected and then once you have done that you can compile and save and then we're done with that and then if you guys duplicated the AS um, gameplay layer um, like I showed you guys before um, you guys will still have the AAS graph and then all of the normal cap points. Now you want to delete all of those except for your base spawns. I'm not going to show you guys how to create these. Um, and then once you've deleted those, you want to look here, the same place where you copied over the capture zone invasion. In here you guys will see there's an invasion graph. Now you want to drag this in to the world, into your map. So obviously I already have mine, so I'm not going to move another one. So I'm just going to delete this one. <coughs> so once you've done that, you want to click on your invasion graph. And then um, once you have it in the map, the next thing that you want to do is now with this custom capture zone that we created for invasion, you want to drag this in. And then place wherever you want capture points to be on your map. Obviously, this is a test map, so I just randomly placed them down. Uh, but obviously, you have to place them where you want to put your objectives on your map. And then once you have placed all of your objectives down, so I only have four. Um, but you guys can have as many as you want. And then the next thing that you want to do is we want to you want to click on the first capture zone or I'll I'll show you guys how uh, what to do on this first one and then you guys just go through and do it for all of your other capture zones. Um, but then um, you want to 
once you've selected your first capture zone or i'm going to show you guys on the on my first capture zone you want to click here on the sq capture zone invasion under the components thing and then in the details panel here if you go down you guys will see there's a setting called team to lock for and an initial team and then the flag name those three are the most things that you'll probably uh, care about the most you can change the cap time like i did here so um for both of these you want to set this to two because this is team two so um if you are going to play against um well you'll always have this to team two but then you can always just change the factions around in your um in your data asset for your gameplay layer data file um but then you want to make this to two so the initial team that all of the objectives are going to be captured by is team two and then the team to lock for is also going to be two and then once you've done that you can change the cap point like i said before and then just make sure you set a flag name here and then what you want to do is then go and do this for all of your capture points and then obviously name them different for each one you can also rename this thing itself as well but i'm not gonna do that and then once you have all of that all set up you want to click on your invasion graph and then we're only going to really look at this last initializer component here but you can go through all of these other ones they do have a few settings and then um, once you've went through the settings just select on the initializer the last component here and then this is where you're now going to set um, your objectives so the first one is going to be the first teams is base spawn and then for node b this is going to be capture point one and then for this next one is going to be capture zone point one and then capture point two and then for the third one is going to be capture zone two and then capture zone three and then for the fourth one it's going to be capture zone three and then four and then four and then the team two spawn like so so you want to make it um exactly how i did it so depending on how many objectives you have um you just add on top of it but you always want to make it so that the first one is going to be capture zone one and then for the next one it's you're going to put the first one still um the first capture point and then the second one so that it links um the capture points together and then once you've done all of that all you really need to do next is just test it so what you want to do is click play obviously and then um once it is loaded you want to click on continue like so I'm just going to create a squad and then confirm spawn and then just wait the 7 seconds 4, 3, 2, 1 okay like so and then you want to run to your first cap point now I did disable the staging uh, phase timer thing because um, it's just a better way for me to test this in the video that's why I turned it off so um, I'm just going to speed up this time, so I cap it a bit faster. And then once we've captured this first point, you guys will see the next objective uh, pops up. So, you guys will also see the first cap point is locked. So that means the other team, defending, can't capture this um, flag again. Um, and then that's the whole point of... Um, invasion is the other team purely defends um and then the other team attacks but they but the defending team can't capture the flags back but um yeah i think uh that's gonna do it for this video guys oh one thing uh that i think i forgot to tell you guys is in your maps folder or just go to your gameplay layers data folder and then open your invasion data asset and then I just want to point something out. Uh, make sure the attacking team's tickets is about 200. And then the defending team's tickets are like is like 900 or 800. You can make it whatever you want. But the defending team's tickets should be higher than the attacking team. 
and then um, you should be good to go but um that's gonna do it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you're subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one